I'm just drawing a quick map so that sure. things are a little bit more clear. <laughs> I like the chat. Damer says Tedagub's personal trait is overly over uh, is Jesus is overly verbose, especially for a damn half ogre. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Just to give you guys a quick idea of what we're looking at here, this is the map. The blue is the creek that's running through town. The two rectangles are buildings. The green circle is the large willow tree. Okay. Um, oops. And I'm going to mark it in You have red. a future in artistry if this doesn't work out. <laughs> you know, I really think I could do web comics, and they'd be great. There you go. Maybe about our our travelings. Maybe. <laughs> be good. Oh, did I tell you I found someone who's going to do write-ups of the campaigns? Yeah, I heard you mention that. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I think it's pretty sweet. So there's these four ogres that are standing here. There's a bunch of captive people held up, tied up around the tree. And the party is hiding back here behind... Sorry, whoops, wrong building. I thought it was five, by the way. This building. Is it four or five? Bregor saw five when he got up there, but you only see four now okay. as you like peer around the corner. Okay. Well, I, I still want to do the command fight thing. Okay. Bregor, where are you? I am <clears throat> right around where you pinged. Okay, with so you're else. with everyone else, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Abigail, where are you? Well, I untied the people and that's pretty much what I did. No, I was next to JP because I asked for the healing. Okay, so everyone kind of went up to do this with JP. Yeah. The whole party moved up together. No one stayed back or did anything else. Yep. Right. Yeah, we are staying together. Cool. We are Good. not leaving anyone on the side, guys. <laughs> Alright, so JP, you go up and you command fight one of them, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, he hears you, pulls out his club, and cracks one of the uh, captive people in the face, breaking his skull. Okay. And another quick question I have, observation, uh, observation of what around them, is it just... What I'm looking for, is there any metal near these guys or on these guys? Not visibly. They're wearing furs like the other ogres that you fought. Yeah. They've got, you know, bags, but you can't tell what's in them, and they're all wielding giant clubs. Okay, I'm going to cast... Uh... Well, did anyone else want to do anything after he did his command? I... No, assuming they don't see us, I'm still just kind of hanging back, whispering. Yeah. Hurry the fuck up and heal me! <laughs> <laughs> if I can so get another... So said command fight, and they fought the hostages. One of them, yeah, starts beating the hostage to death. Um, okay. Two of the others... So, you... This is the guy that you commanded right here. Yeah, I'm the middle one? Okay. Yeah. Um, the guy next to him, this one over here, turns because he hears you, you know, yelling fight and sees you guys and he starts running towards you. <laughs> Whoa, that's not right. Yeah, he starts running towards you guys. Okay. Sweet. For my turn, can I, can I climb up on the roof without, like, JP's assistance? Yeah, it'll take the whole turn, though. Okay, I'll take my turn and climb up. Okay, no problem. Vincent, I'm climbing up as well. Oh. Okay, Jen? Yeah, no problem. Vincent? Does he see me? Yeah. Um, You're plus five. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I guess uh, Vincent Longboard in this situation would do the most obvious thing, which is to charge at the nine-foot tall ogre and fucking kill it. Yeah, well... Yeah, when you have plus five so, to hit damage on your sword, it's... You know. Should I just roll for that then, or what do I do? Yeah, um, well, I... So, Jen and Brigger are climbing on top. JP's gonna cast another spell. You're charging the ogre. Um, mm -hmm. Let's just do initiative right here. Okay. So, on roll for the team. Uh, who's been sucking today? Me and Jen, go ahead. You rolled a two lately. Go ahead. Roll that ten. D10. All right. Eight. Oh, <laughs> God. Okay. Ogre goes first. He runs up, takes a mighty swing at Vincent Longborn. Good luck, Vincent. 
Um, he hits Vincent very hard in the face. Sounds like I'm already down. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> um, but this is a new encounter. Yeah, I guess I should have said reroll, but you already rolled for damage there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, eight. Vincent, you take 12 damage. He's negative which two. Just then. puts you down. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, I, we see this happen? Yeah. Ogre runs across the stream, takes his club, hits Vince. Vince puts a shield up, the shield, like, shield and club come together, hit him in the face, and he falls from a big gash in his head. Um, when I see that happen, I ask Abigail if she has any more healing potions, or if there's any left in the flask that she had. I, I, I don't actually know. We should ask the chat right now because we were you have talking at least about one that earlier. I yeah, but I want to know if we have one or two. No, Vincent, you used one, right? I used you, I used two, but I gave her back one. Right. Of the three that I had. But I gave you two. Oh, no, no. She gave me two. She used one in the fray of her own that she had. another one later. Yes. So, so she has at least Aww. one. Jin has one on her body. Jeff has one on his body. No, no. Jin has a healing potion. There's only one. Yeah. And I'm, I'll say, well, I have one potion and I have not a lot of... I'm not feeling very good right now. <laughs> well, our star MVP batter up. That just got knocked down is dead on the ground. So you okay. Spend the, so the ogre runs yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, I, we're the talking. Face, and but... you two argue about the healing potion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Why I, don't you just fucking? I was heal about him, to stop the I argument say. there. Gregor, what do you do? Okay. <clears throat> so I see that our tank is down, and I'm the one with the, the HP now. So I'm gonna, I'm going to, from the top of the roof, I'm gonna pull out my sword, and I'm gonna jump down. And as I'm jumping down, I'm gonna slash at the ogre. Okay. Um, the ogre is unaware of your position. Nice. So, uh, plus four to hit as you jump on him. So, plus seven total, or? Uh, yeah, total plus seven. Seventeen. Seventeen is a hit. Nice. All right. Uh, Thank roll God. D12 for damage. Who needs it? Three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Arr. Okay. You land on the ogre and shove your sword down the side of his arm. Doesn't kill him, but it bleeds him something. All right. All right. Uh, Jen, what do you do? Okay. Everyone's saying I have two, but I guess they're I wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, JP, do you have spells left or no? Not healing ones. J JP, what do you do? I cast another <laughs> command. On. On so which one ran at us? The one in the middle? The this one. Whoops. This one. Okay, and what's that? The one in the other. He just attacked like a random person. Yeah, this guy just attacked a random guy that he had tied up. Are there any standing together? People or ogres? Ogres. The, the, I mean, they're pretty spread two. out, right? Yeah. Um. I want to tell the one on the. So if if you look at the three of them, there is like a triangle at the tip of the, the triangle. The one, I guess, on the northern part of the sheet, the farthest north. That one, yeah. I guess I can ping it. Um, I just drew, sorry. I want to say command... Uh, I'll say, I'll just say command flee. Okay. Uh, Abigail, what do you do? This guy takes off. Is there ogres left? There's two. Yeah, well, this one right here, I can't move him. It won't move. <clears throat> he, he, this guy that I'm pinging ran and is like right over here now on the other side of the stream. Mm -hmm. is behind him, more or less. Vincent is down in front of him. JP is hiding behind this building, shouting at people. <laughs> giant eight foot ogre <laughs> yeah. like, crouched behind a building like yelling at people while everyone else is out in the middle of combat Flee! So and is, right. standing on top of the this thingy is, is jeff ticking down to negative 10 now or yes he is so he's at negative oh. three yes okay all right well, no, i'm no, gonna this is still, still that first round so 
Okay. At the start of next round, he'll go to negative three. Okay. All right, gotcha. I'll give him the stupid potion. And I'll say that. Just jump off I the do. roof and get right in front of the big ogre to heal him up. Yep. And then you I'm going to get killed. Okay. Yep. So roll 2d4 plus 2 for HP. Oh. Five. Five. Jeff, you are at three. Sweet. Awesome. Is the sword still at plus five? Probably. Yeah. It actually has a a deep red glow emanating from its blade. Okay. If you look at it closely. Cool. Like Sam's sword from Revengeance. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. I get that reference. I got you. <laughs> and now you can be like, it's time for my revengeance. <laughs> 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 no, I don't think so at three health. I'm <laughs> I'm still waiting to get swatted down pretty hard again, actually. <laughs> They've turned yeah. on turned off your nano machine so you feel like shit. That's what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Um Yeah. Everyone's gone. Uh <clears throat> Ogre's turn. Um yep. He turns to face Bregor, uh, takes his club and swings at Bregor's head. Eleven what's your AC? Breaker, 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 breaker. Fifteen. Yeah, he hits you. Fuck. Yeah. Well, you're a tank, so. Yeah, he's, he's got, got twenty nine health. He takes twelve. Twelve. Twelve from the ogre. Fuck. Brings you to seventeen. Yeah, you get cracked in the ribs and you get thrown against the side of the building. Right here. Ouch. Um, but you're up. Your guys' turn. All right. Yeah. So I I go and I approach the ogre and I kind of take a stance between the ogre. Can I cast and a spell party. before you do this, Ryan? Yeah, go ahead. Can I cast Strength of Stone on Ryan? Don't you need to be within? Isn't it a touch attack? Uh, it is. If I yep. need to get near him, I will. I okay, will go so to him. So the ogre is currently standing between you and Ryan. <clears throat> okay, never mind. So, Ryan, go ahead. Yeah, like, yeah. ogre is like right here. <laughs> Ryan, Bregor is on the other side. Uh, Jen and Vincent. So, like, Ilgris trapped between Jen and Vincent and Bregor. And there's a building Wh here. Which way fighting. is the is that ogre looking? Is he looking at Bregor? Yeah, he's looking this way. So he doesn't see me. Okay. No? All right. Well, I want to cast Strength of Stone on myself then, and kind of stay, quote unquote, hidden as much as an eight foot ogre could. But okay. so Strength of Stone is is that a one d four. Yeah. Four. Four, okay. Which... Like 17? <clears throat> uh, is your strength 13? Uh, no, it brings you to 16, which is the minimum that it can bring you to. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, Breger, go mm -hmm. ahead. Okay, so I take a stance in between uh, Jeff and Jen and the ogre, and I attack the ogre. You stand between Jeff, Jen, and the ogre? No, like, I want to I wanna be in between the ogre. He pulls a Jeff Goldblum from team. Jurassic Park. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not Jeff Gold uh, what was his name? What's that guy's? No one remembers the main character of Jurassic Park, man. Not the main character. The guy who's then also in Independence Day. Ian Goldblum? Jeff? No, no it's Jeff Goldblum, right? It's Jeff Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah Jeff right. Goldblum. He says, over here, over here. Try to, try to get me, you big monster. Oh, <laughs> uh, when the two kids are running away. I got the scene. Yeah. I get you, Vincent. Okay. All right, okay, Ryan, you so going to roll? You're currently on the other side. Freaking ogres won't move. All right, here's the ogre now. He's just bigger. Okay. So we got uh, Gregor over here. We have Jeff. And we have Jen. And then we have Tadagub. So this ogre is the, the red thing? This red blob. Yeah, big red yeah. blob is the ogre. Okay. So <clears throat> I want to come around like this and be right here. Okay, you can't squeeze between him and the building. Can I be like that? Um, he, he's, he's trying to say the other side, yeah. Yeah. Um, sure, you can strafe around a little bit. Yeah, I just want to strafe around. Okay. And attack while I'm doing that. Okay, roll to hit. Okay. Uh, D20 plus three. 
16. Hit. You barely slash him. All right. D12 for damage. <clears throat> Three. Reroll the damage. You barely slash him. Reroll the damage. Re okay, <clears throat> D12. 11. Hey! There we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The ogre gets hit across the, the abdomen and starts bleeding through it, but growls viciously at you and prepares another strike. Vincent, what do you do? I'm going to move to his backside and take a shot at him. Well, his backside is no longer to you. Brigger turns, so now the ogre is facing you. Well, can I strafe around it behind him? Well, now, like, it's kind of a clusterfuck. You'd have to, like, go... <laughs> like, you guys are all... Clu you'd have to, like, I'm go sitting there on this corner, I'm just like, like why are they strafing so fucking much? <laughs> oh, I'm the one on the furthest left? Yeah. So you can't get all the way around and get an attack in the same round. Okay. Um, I'll just take a swipe at him, then. Okay. Uh, D20 plus... Was it nine? Yeah. Jesus. No, yeah, just a 20. Okay, you hit. Uh, D12 plus 8 damage. 13. Okay. You stab the, the ogre through the belly, and his sword runs, or his blood runs down your sword, and your hand gets wet and warm with it. He's not dead, though? No, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, sweet. So now my sword does what? Uh, it's capped at plus 5. Damn it! <laughs> But that that's like level Keep fucking 20 going. item, isn't it? Is it not? It's a what? Isn't that like super high-end game item? It, it plus, a, five. plus five magical sword? Plus five magic sword is like super high-end. Yeah. 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 That's like god tier item. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. I was just uh, making sure you're aware. <laughs> pretty happy. Um, all right. So do the other ogres do anything? Yes. Have the other ogres seen me? You're not sure. So, this one has the one on top that you told to flee has run. Yeah. He is somewhere further north right now, uh, behind a building. Yeah. So we're just gonna remove him. The one that was standing right here has moved closer. He's like there now. Okay. Uh, and he's got his club out, he's coming towards you guys. This one on the far left is actually you can't see him anymore because he his you guys aren't he's out of sight. So I can I go uh, over this way and see if I can see the ogre? And if I do, stand up straight and speak in orc or ogre to him? I just yeah. recommend we take him on one at a time. So if there's one we don't see, let's not go get him, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, you can. So you, you go to the end of the building and you see him coming that way towards you. Okay. And then I'm dressed in his garb, in, in the same garb of mm -hmm. everyone else. And in Ogre, I'm going to say uh, that human and two elves are very strong. I, I very scared. I say it like very dumb. He looks at you and goes, mm. Tom not know you. Who you be? Uh, I, I... Shit. I guess I say... Uh, me Tadagub, me fight human already and uh, wounded in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I point to my knee and say, uh, human elves very strong can uh, maybe run or fight. You weakling, you disgrace. I smash head. Okay, that didn't work very well. Yes, he runs at you <laughs> and hits you. Great. You take seven, seven damage. You're at seven. Cool. I say thanks for that, you fucking asshole. And <laughs> I smash head. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is our turn now. If I can attack him next round, that's what I want to do. But yeah, yeah that's my round. Uh, yes, Vincent, it is your turn. Well, it's team turn, right? Team turn, except for Tudagub, who just won. I didn't get a turn yet. Yeah, it's your turn and Jeff's turn and Ryan's turn. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Abigail. All right. I try to climb back up on the roof to not be gettable by the meanies. Okay, you climb back up on the roof. Done. Did that take up her turn, or did she... Yeah, it takes the full turn to okay. climb the roof. Gregor? Uh, I go and 
attack the, the ogre that just hit JP. Okay, uh, you can't style. see any of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can't really see this happening. Oh. They're Wait. over here on the other side. Can you, you guys okay, are completely still, oblivious to their stuff. Okay, so this diagram is is still relevant on D20? Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I, okay, okay, I see JP. Wait, uh, is that red dot one of them approaching us, and then JP's fighting one by himself? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, JP. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, the, the plan wasn't to fight. <laughs> well, it's just a dumb plan, man. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, so apparently... One at a time. Skip. So she climbed the building last round. Uh, go ahead and make your shot this round. All right, so I'll take a shot. At who? Uh, the most menacing the one, one for the, the party. One in front of us. Yeah. yeah so one in front of us. <laughs> so D20 plus four? Yes. Okay, 14. 14 is a miss. Oh, really? Her shot sails over his head and sticks in a, the ground behind you. All right. Okay. Brigor? Yeah, I go up and... Um, the one in front of us, I attack him with my sword. Okay. Roll d20 plus whatever to hit. Three. Oh, four. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's great. One plus, <laughs> one plus four. So one plus three. Guys, I think we're about to die again. <laughs> uh, you slip in the creek and fall. Uh, but you're, you, you don't take any damage or anything. <laughs> but now, like, slipped in the creek. Mm. <sighs> All right. Well, I really don't want to die, guys. But I'm gonna. You're already engaged, so I'm gonna run up and go attack this guy. Okay. Uh. Roll d20 plus eight or nine. You said. Plus nine. Oh my god. <laughs> you miss somehow. <laughs> I. The magic of the sword brings you towards it, but you somehow you're like I don't know, and you resist it. Or I, you should have hit. There's no excuse. You fail. Um, <laughs> ogre's around. turn. Yeah. Uh, the ogre goes in to strike at Bregor, who's face down in the creek, <laughs> and slips and falls on top of you. <laughs> Mm. Well, at least there's some luck there. You take three damage from the fall. Um, Gregor, you are at 14. The one that's uh, approaching Tudagub swings his club at him for being a coward and hits you great. for seven damage. You so are dead. unconscious. Yeah, great. <laughs> Abigail and Vincent and Gregor. Uh, am I pinned or can I get out? No, you're pinned face down underneath the giant ogre. And I'm and I'm drowning in the creek. No, you're not drowning. I mean, it's it's only like a little creek, you know. Well, then he can't attack if he's laying on top of a guy, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll okay, see. Okay, here's what I want to do. Hold on, actually, where's my sheet at? My character sheet. Do I have a dagger? Um. Yes, you do. Okay, I'm going to just daggers. reach and pull out a dagger and just, like, stab at this ogre on top of me. Okay. Which All right, that's possible. Stab. Yeah, let's d just go ahead and roll for damage. You don't need to roll to hit. What, what do I roll? Uh, D for the dagger? D3. Oh, wow. A three. Okay. You stab. Stabby, stabby him. Um, okay you stab him in the belly with your dagger Vincent uh, since he's laying on top of him do I have enough in a move to like kick him off of him and then stab down at him or he weighs too much for you to kick him off him really even for my strength for a he's kick like yeah I mean, it's 350 pounds. You can't kick 350 pounds off of something. Like, if you bent down and, like, pulled them off, it'd be fine, but... All right, well, I'm just... How about my proficiency in a sword? Can I take a swipe at him without hurting... Probably. Uh, I Bregor? mean, it's a giant ogre, and Bregor is very small, so... All right. There's not That's really a lot either. of Bregor surface area. 20. 20. That is a hit. You stab him... 
12 plus D12 9? Plus or D12 plus 8. 16. 16, okay. You stab him through his chest, but you don't hit his heart. Comes out the other side, near Bregor, but not actually close enough to hurt him. Uh, and the ogre starts coughing up blood onto Bregor's neck. The back of Bregor's neck. <laughs> Jen? He feels a warm and tingly feeling. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to take a shot. At? Uh... Would I risk like shooting Ryan if I shoot Probably. at the? Uh... Not really. Yeah, you're you, you're safe from hitting him. All right. So D twenty plus four. Mhm. Mm Eleven. <laughs> uh, well, you get another two for no, but it still messes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ogre's other turn. Steve, you're unconscious. So the ogre that's sitting on top, or laying on Bregor, rolls off of him, you know, screaming in pain because Vincent just stabbed him, and takes a, a swipe at Vincent, who's standing above him. But you, you knock his uh, club away with your sword. Nice. Oh, nice. Then uh, this ogre approaches you from behind. Actually, no, he would keep going this way and come around, but doesn't get an attack. So the other ogre has come around all the way around the building and is approaching you guys from the rear. Your turn, everyone. Uh, so I still have this ogre on top of me? Yeah. No, he's off you now. So he rolled off of you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, how are they facing? The one that it was on top of you is now just to your right, just north of the river, mm -hmm. uh, on his back swinging at Vincent. The other one is coming up from the south, uh, running at you with his club out, going, ah! So the, uh, the one that's fighting Jeff, is his back to me? Uh, no, he's on his back. He's, like, literally oh. laying down. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll try and finish that guy off with okay. my sword. Do you, so you get to your feet and swipe at him? Yeah. Okay. Roll to hit. Three. Twelve. No, he tumbles out of the way and gets to his feet instead of you hitting him. Jen? Right. I'm going to take another shot. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Yay. <laughs> no, your arrow sails over him, hits the willow yep. tree behind him. There's a lot of, like, three arrows in the tree. Yeah. <laughs> All kind of, like, stacked very neatly next to each other. Yeah, I, I feel better about myself because of that. Yeah, I mean, you have the turn. I don't know. Vincent, mm. your turn. So, let me think. This one that's on its back, would I get any modifiers for attacking something that's on its back? Uh... Normally, but he's just so big that you don't get the same bonuses for like swinging down at something. He's just he's too big. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna move away from the one that's that's attacking us and try to put as much distance between it and I that I can, but still attack the one that's on the ground. So I don't mean that I like swipe and keep running, nothing like that, but like. I back up around the guy that's on the ground or something like that. Okay. So you kind of... You come around, so he's between you and the guy from the south. Yeah. Okay. Roll the hit. 28. Natural 19. Uh, I think that's a triple crit. Roll 4d12 plus 8 damage. I mean, he doesn't have that much life, so... He takes 58. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you rolled 4d18, dude. No. Yeah, yeah you, you did. Yeah, you did. You're oh, 4d18. What is it? Roll 4... 4d12. <laughs> plus 8. 30. 30. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> you 58. <laughs> Oh so you goodness. slay the ogre. <laughs> you you <laughs> slash his throat open, and the the creek just runs red with ogre blood. 
Oh, God. Um, yeah. Okay, so everyone's had a turn. JP is still bleeding to death. I'm in negative one now, yeah. Okay. Um, the guy from the bottom screams, Rawr! You killed Fang! Fang friend! Rawr! And runs directly at you guys in a blind fit of rage and swings his club way over your head. Like, way over your head. Completely missing. Okay. Uh, the guy above here that JP had originally told to run runs down. Uh, and he gets here, but he doesn't have enough moves to actually get an attack. Oh my god. Time.